Devin was a student athlete who earned his degree in crime, law, and justice. Devin had an impressive career as a professional football player, yet it's what he's done off the field that has led to his nomination for this award. When Devin was playing for the Cincinnati Bengals, his daughter Leah was diagnosed with stage four pediatric cancer. While providing loving support to his daughter, Devin used his position as a platform to raise awareness and money to assist families affected by pediatric cancer. The next year, while still fighting a personal battle, battle with cancer, Devin and Leah started the Still Strong Foundation to help others. In recognition of their determination and perseverance in the face of cancer, Devin and Leah received the ESPY's Jimmy V Award. Thankfully, Leah is now cancer-free, and Devin continues. Yep. And Devin continues to inspire others as a motivational speaker and role model. One of his nominators is familiar to Nittany Lions as current Houston, Texas Texans coach Bill O'Brien, who said, "What separates Devin Still from other candidates is his unselfish nature." and his ability to overcome adversity. Devin and Leah fought a nationally publicized battle with cancer and ended up inspiring an entire nation along the way. Congratulations, Devin. You know, I, I went back and forth today um, about whether I was going to write a speech, but I felt like it would be best for me to talk about what Penn State means to me from my heart. You know, I'm just a kid from the inner city of Wilmington, Delaware, and I never dreamed that my life would be like it is today. You know, I always thought that the world only had to offer what my environment showed me. But from the moment that I stepped onto this campus, it really opened my eyes to what the world had to offer. And Penn State gave me the courage to not only dream, but to dream big. You know, I was always good in football, and I knew football was gonna take me a long ways. But I'm not standing here today because of football, or because of my athletic ability, but it was because I understood the importance of using my platform as a professional athlete to impact the world. And I learned that from Penn State. I can honestly say that I didn't leave here the same person that I came in. When I came to Penn State, I was very immature, and I didn't know what I wanted out of life. But when I left here, I left here as a man of integrity, a man with values, and a man with morals. You know, Penn State taught me that success is not all about getting as many accolades as you can as individuals in your lifetime, but it's about the people that you impact in a lifetime. And when I watched my daughter go through cancer, it was one of the most painful things that I ever went through in my life. But we learned how to recycle that pain and use it to give back to the cancer community and raise millions of dollars for families who were in need. And we couldn't have done that without our Penn State family. You know, it was so many times where I was sitting in a hospital while my daughter was getting chemo, and I would just be sitting on a couch crushed, watching the, the, the chemo drip through the IVs and into her body and not knowing whether it was gonna save her life or not. But I would go on to my phone and I would look on Instagram and I would see the student body walking around campus. I would see the student body walking around campus with we still are, we still are strong shirts and I would see people at the football games uh, holding banners that said Leah Strong. And it gave me and my family the strength to keep fighting, you know, when we felt like giving up. And we couldn't have made the impact that we had without you guys. And you know, now that I step away from the game of football, I live my life by a quote that Dr. Maya Angelou once said, when she said, when you get, give, and when you learn, teach. And right now, I'm dedicating my life to giving as much as I can to the cancer community to let families know that they're not in the fight alone. And I also dedicate my life to teaching people the mindset that you need to have in order to overcome life's biggest obstacles. And I just want to thank this university, the Alumni Association, Dean Welsh, the College of Liberal Arts, the staff and faculty, the football program, for molding me into the man that I am today. And to all the fellow honorees here today, man, look what we've been able to achieve in our life so far. And we're just getting started. And I really can't wait to continue to paint this world blue and white to show people what Penn State Pride is really all about. So thank you. <laughs> 